This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. All right, uh, for both of you guys, how are you handling the uh, excitement here of game week? And, you know, just kind of describe it to me. Yeah, um, I think it's it's great that we finally get to play somebody different. Uh, we've been going and competing against each other for a long time now. So I think it's just uh, going to be a good time. And it's, I think we're going to really enjoy playing against someone else. I would say the same. I mean, it's been fun. It's been competitive this whole summer slash fall. But I think we're just ready to start the season. So. What's been the vibe around practice here in preseason, just coming off a championship and the, the confidence around there? Um, I think it's been very competitive. I think that the new guys that we have brought in, uh, they bring that as well. Um, I think that the energy level has been at a high level. Um, but I think that has something to do with the returners and kind of bringing the uh, young guys along. I would agree. I mean, everybody's competing at a high level. So it's not like you're playing against just anybody, I feel like. Everybody's like on the same level, and we're just taking it day by day and getting better each day. So, how have you guys kind of been able to help some of the newcomers along? Uh, I'd say just leadership, just communication, uh, trying to talk to them as much as possible, trying to bring them along. The defense is hard that we run, um, and I think that's one of the steps that uh, us older guys have to take. Um, I think that the more that we instill in them uh, what it takes to win a, a Division One basketball game, I think it will help them. Both of you guys talk about that defense. You're at different stages of your career. How much more comfortable do you feel in the pack now compared to a couple of seasons ago and for you now compared to last year? Yeah, um, it's all about the habits. Uh, we work on them every day. Um, I think for me it's in my fifth year. Um, I think that I know the defense really well by now. Uh, and I think that also just has to do with games. Like we, like you kind of said, uh, the longer you're in it, the better you get at it. I would agree. I came in last year and I struggled a little bit on the defensive side of the ball. But I think year two, I'm definitely more comfortable with positioning and where I'm supposed to be in. It just helps me help my team. So, Caleb, you had a great season last year, a lot of accolades going into this year. But as you take a look at your game, what area do you feel like you've grown in the most during the off season? Yeah, um, I'd probably just say communication. Uh, just trying to talk on every possession, every play, even when I'm off the court, just trying to continue to talk to the uh, other guys. Take me back to the last meeting with Radford. Mm -hmm. What do you what what stands out? What are those images that are stuck in your head from that game? Yeah, uh, I think that they play with a lot of toughness. Uh, I think that they bring a high amount of energy. Um, I think that for us, if we're, we want to win this game, we just have to match those things. Do you like starting the season not just against anybody, not to downplay any other team maybe yeah. on the schedule, but you're playing against a team that's picked to win its conference mm -hmm. that you have some history with? Does that make it a little bit more special starting a season like this? Yeah, um, anytime you get to play a great team like them to start the season, it, it will show uh, what we're good at and what we need to work on. But I think for us, we just got to take it day by day. Kind of for you, where do you feel like you've grown the most since we last saw you a year ago? I would say definitely on the defensive side of the ball and then communicating like I have a soft voice. But just trying to be loud, be vocal, and making sure that I'm playing on both sides of the ball. So, Last first game of the season, mm -hmm. your last opener, do you let yourself think at all about, you know, this is the last go around, you're going to be checking those boxes, your last time to do this, your last mm -hmm. time to do that. Do you think about that? And what does that feel like knowing this is your last opener? Uh, to be honest, I really haven't even thought about that yet. Uh, like Darius was saying, we just try to go day by day. And for me, it's just I'm trying to win every basketball game that I can here. Caleb, we were watching the final play and some of the highlights from that Radford game a couple mm -hmm. years ago. Talk about some of the emotions that followed that game. And Darius, just going off, I know you weren't a part of that game, but just what some of the guys have told you about that rivalry, even though you guys are in two different conferences now. Yeah, um, I thought that throughout the whole game, it was a battle. Uh, that's what I remember. I remember it was back and forth the whole game. And then towards the last shot, I just remember uh, feeling defeat. But then also remembering everything that, that we came from. I remember when I first got here, how hard it was to win a basketball game. And for us to be there, it was really special. So when we got in the locker room, Coach McKay talked to us. It kind of clicked that look how far we have came, not, not what just happened. I know for me, like I don't really talk to the guys much about that game because I really didn't have anything to do with it. But I think I was at one of my friend's house watching the game, actually, when it happened. And by the time we got there and turned the TV on, it was like down to the final two minutes. So I was able to witness like down the stretch in the last shot. So I kind of felt devastated for the guys because I knew I was going into our program the next summer or the next year. So it's definitely a little hurt, but we still just take it day by day. Obviously a historic season last mm. year. How do you kind of turn the page from that, but then at the same time build from that success? And um, how do you manage the team expectations that's, that's placed on this team early? Yeah, I think for us it's all about the process. I think Coach McKay does a good job at, at – 
telling us what it's going to take to get there, and we just have to be process oriented every day. Um, and I think we've done a good job at that uh, this year. I think that going into this year, he's kind of told us this is a new year, new you. Like you got to continue to build on what you did last season. And I say for the expectations, I feel like expectations are a good thing for our program. Uh, like I said, five years ago, we didn't have any expectations. And this year and the years uh, past, we do. So I think if we take them and, and receive them the right way and just try to build on them, I think it's a good thing for us. Yeah, I Very agree soon. with uh, Caleb 100%. I think for us, it's just a matter of are we getting better each day and not really focusing on the end picture, but making sure that we're doing everything that we're supposed to to carry us to that point. And Caleb, final question. Um, a lot of high expectations on you personally, mm -hmm. too. How do you – or do you pay attention to some of those rankings on you as an individual, or is it more team-focused? Uh, it's more team-focused. Uh, I think that those accolades come from the team, uh, building me up and making me look as good as I do. Uh, I think that that's something that the team does a really good job at. Um, and like Coach McKay always says, it could really be anybody on this team. It, any given night, anybody could do it. For both of you guys, uh, Darius, maybe start with you, just coming into your second year here. Talk about the pride that you have of, of putting on that Liberty jersey every night. Uh, it's an incredible amount of pride, like especially last year, getting a close relationship with the seniors like Keenan, Vell, and Rax. I wanted to make sure I was doing everything possible I could to make sure those guys could go out or have the greatest amount of success that they could possibly have. And it's the same this year. Like I want Caleb, Mayo, Scotty, and Georgie to experience the same thing, if not more. So it's a matter of going in and giving my all for – other people's sake, so. Caleb, what about you? Same as Darius. Uh, every night we put the Liberty jersey on. We know it's just not a basketball team. It's a family uh, from the campus to the people that support it. With the um, the excitement of game day, I mean, what what's that like, you know, with that family atmosphere for both of you guys? Kind of describe that. Uh, I would say, like, from the moment you wake up, it's just – pure excitement, pure happiness, like you're just ready for a tip off. Like the whole day is just good. Like nothing could ever mm. mess up a game day vibe. So same as him. You just wake up with the joy that you get to compete. I know when you first got here, there weren't a lot of great crowds. Mm -hmm. There is that you know, they're expecting to have a pretty good crowd here mm -hmm. for your opener and there should be after what you guys did a year ago. Just talking about what that's gonna be like with with the fan base kind of rallying around you guys and with the, the way you've built this up now to where there are so many people that are on the bandwagon and invested in your program. Yeah, uh, fans always help us on the court. Um, I think that one thing about them is whenever the game's going good and they're very into it, I think that it gets us a little more juiced and amped to uh, make the make the next play. I agree. I think the last home game we had was, what, North Florida last year mm -hmm. in the conference tournament. And you could just feel the energy and the love from the crowd. So that definitely turned us up and made us – perform at an even higher level. So I think the same thing is needed. Last one for me, for both of you guys. Uh, Coach always talks family and instilling that family atmosphere. I mean, just talk about the uh, the the emotion that you guys have in playing for one another out there every night and how important is that to the success of this team? Yeah, I think for us, it's our pillars. Uh, you see them on the wall in here. I think for us, just playing hard and competing and give our very best is something that we're asked to do. But I think that now we've got a group that wants to do it, um, I think, for each other. And I think that that's where it starts. I totally agree with Caleb 100%. I mean, it's in each individual on our team. Like, no one's really selfish. Everybody's selfless. So that's very important to a team, especially in a sport like basketball. You need everybody bought in from minute one to minute zero. So.